Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we are back on my vanilla Patreon server. This is version 1.15.2 at this point. And uh, as you know, I released a very long video, which basically was both of my streams that I'd done recently because we had a world reset, and I wanted to show you that. And, oh, wow, look at all the bees. I have a little bee farm over here. Anyway, we're back at the uh, the community area here. This is a community area for uh, my Patreons. Oh, this big house over here is Thomas. Over here is... Pause player 10 in the corner way over there with a little bit of white over there. That's uh, Jude's. We got Mom Crafter and Kaylee. We have Rhett Craft is over here. And this is my space, and I haven't built a house. So my goal, I think, today will be to uh, build a house if I can. We're going to work on that. But uh, one of the first things I do want to do, as I always do when I start up, well, besides going to sleep because it's getting dark, is I'm going to be starting to do a mining session for about an hour down in our mines, Okay. Let me go sleep here, and I'll show you where the mines are. So if you walk over here, we have this little platform, and somebody actually put a little uh, trapdoor thing here because they come from this direction. But basically, you go down here and you fall on down, all the way down. We've got lots of mining tunnels, okay? And some of these have been used, like most of them, I think. Looks like pretty much most of them, except for this one right here and this direction here. So we're going to take one of these, and we're going to start to mine it. I'm going to do uh, one hour. I'd like you uh, to tell me what you think I'm going to get as far as diamonds. Now, this pick here is an unbreaking pick, but I will be using this pick, which is iron, fortune 3, efficiency 4. I'll be using this when fortune is required, but uh, most of the time I'll be using this unbreaking pick. So, give me your guess. I want to see what you guys come up with, okay? So, I will see you in a few moments. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hmm, pickaxe. That wasn't so great. What would he get for his resources? I don't know. Well, let's see. Look, I got some lapis. I got a bunch of redstone, a bunch of coal, a couple stacks of iron and some gold. But you notice something is missing. Yep, that's right. I got zero, zilch, nada, nothing. No diamonds. Ugh. I intend to use this platform for my house. Now, I need to figure out how to do that. And I also need something else. I got to get rid of all this stuff. I want this stuff to be cleared out. These chests here, this whole area over here, and my bee little farm. I'm going to have to remove all of this and put it someplace else. Uh, probably the bees I'll just put over there for now um, until we figure out what's going on with this. But I need to get these chests moved. I'm going to put all these chests over here so that I have them out of the way. And then we're going to go and gather the resources we need for this new house. This is going to take me a little bit. It shouldn't take too long. A lot of these aren't full. You know, this is pretty easy. But I do got to get them moved over here. So I think uh, I'm going to do that really fast. I'm at a point now where I need to move this uh, bee, uh, what I don't want you to call it, bee house. Um, but I don't have a lot of glass. I have about 20 pieces of glass, which is not going to cover it. I do like the idea of the glass. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go and grab some more sand so that we have some glass. Um, I've looked. I don't have any sand at all. I got a decent shovel. This is uh, efficiency too. It's not great, but it'll do for a one load of the inventory of sand, which I can put over here in my storage. So I'm going to head out that way. Now on this server, there is a desert that is south of here. So I'm going to head that way now and we're going to go and pick up some sand. I made it to the desert. Now I'm just going to start to uh, mine up some of this uh, sand. Now I know I don't have the best shovel, obviously, um, but that's okay. We'll make do. Okay. I'm just going to cut out little sections, little squares. And we'll see what we can do. I might try it do by chunks. That could be kind of cool because if we turn on the chunk borders, let me see if I can do that here. I can see a full chunk. So maybe if we just say we're going to mine out this chunk right here. Well, this chunk right here and then this chunk right here. And those chunks that I did. Maybe these four chunks I'll try to get to like be flat and kind of look okay. And we'll see what we can do. So I'm just going to be mining for a little bit. Uh, I shouldn't say mining. Digging for a little bit and we'll see what happens, okay? Yeah, we'll see what we get. I've only got a full uh, inventory here to do work with because we don't have shulker boxes yet. So uh, let's get to it. And that's where I got. I got pretty far. I did it. I did it. I did it. It took quite a while, though, with this shovel. <laughs> a lot longer than I remember. Um, but I did get a full uh, inventory worth of sand. So we're going to head back to the base, and we're going to cook up some glass. And then we're going to start to move the, uh, the, the bee farm, I guess you would call it. Okay. I've got the glass cooking up. So we're going to start to build this with what I have. Obviously, I don't have enough, but that's okay. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to find a place to put this. Now, some of the community here, we've got a kind of a community platform. Each person has their little house and things. 
And over here we have some community, like farming areas. So perhaps this is a good idea to have this over here. Maybe buy these uh, cows. So I'm going to basically start here. And we'll do that as a corner. Now, this was uh, 8 by 8 but it made it the door off center. I don't want that. I want to be uh, correct, you know, in the center. So we're going to make it 9 by 9 So there's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, and then from here it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4. Door here, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we'll just make that all square. And then we can start to fill in the walls and make it look uh, okay for a little bee uh, enclosure. Looks like Mobcrafters for beetroot seeds. Let's see. Uh, apparently Mobcrafters just took beetroot seeds. And that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to start to work on just making that enclosure. Getting some more of the glasses cooking up here. And uh, let's get the enclosure done first. And then after that, we'll start to move all these bees. Alright, now I have figured out what I need for the little campfires. I need 17 of them. There's 5 along the back wall. And six on each of the side walls. That's 12 plus 5 is 17. So we're going to look here. We're going to do the campfire. And you can see it says I can make 18 of these. So we're going to make basically, why not make all of them? There we go. And now we can put those in. But it's getting dark. I Hopefully, uh, Mom Crafter's going to sleep. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. We'll risk it. Anyway, we're going to go over here. We're going to put down these, um, these little campfires here. So the idea here is that along this wall, right there, along this wall... Okay, and along this wall, there we go, or where all of the uh, the bee hives will be. Now, it makes it kind of weird because you can't see through there right now, but that's okay. We'll be okay with that. So now I have to go and grab those hives. Now, uh, I did get from MomCrafter uh, the Silk Touch pickaxe, so I can get the five that we have right now and put those in place. And because it's dark, I think we can get them with the bees, right? So let's see here. Just like that. So the bees will be transferred automatically, which is great. Okay. Oops. Don't do that. Did I just lose it? Oh, good. No, I did lose it. Ah. Oh, wait. No, it's right there. Uh, let's do this. Okay. There we go. Okay, I got all the hives. Woo. Almost had a problem right there. So we're going to just run over here, and we're going to put them in place there. I also have to get some flowers planted um, for the bees. Let me go get the flowers first, actually. This could be a better thing to do because you got to make sure that they do have flowers, right? Um, so that they work. So let's just grab them here. And we'll just grab all of these. There we go. Let's see if we get some. So that way we can have the bees have something to pollinate. And that way they do the honey. Okay. I'm just going to put a couple of these down right now just so we have them here. Okay. And let's start to put the highs down. So there's one there. Oh, really? It doesn't, doesn't pull them in. Okay. There. There. And look, they're already filled up with honey because we took them with honey. Okay. And now I'll just put down the rest of the stuff. And we're going to make up some hives here in just a second. We can also then start to breed up bees. Okay. I just saw bees dying in the fires. We're going to take out these campfires. See, like that? It got hurt. We don't, oh, no, 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 no. No, get out of there. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, so, word to the wise here. Don't, don't, don't have campfires. Because <laughs> the bees will, like, uh, get hurt. Put the campfire down after you put the hive. So, um, <laughs> Tinker made a mistake. We all learned from it. That's great. Okay, let's uh, take some of these things and breed up some more bees. Because we need to do that here. Let's see you. And you, maybe? Okay. So, uh, let them work on their thing right now. I'm going to make up, I think, another 6, 12 hives. And then we can get more campfires. I kind of goofed that up, the order. But now you've learned from my mistake. Okay. As you can see, this is working out really well. I put little trapdoors here to help prevent the little babies from going in here. The baby bees. It seems to help. Um, the only thing is right near the ends there, you can see there's a spot there and there where I didn't... Because of the corner, I couldn't do it. And it's really noisy here. I'll turn that down just a little bit. Now, that's not right. He's going to let all the bees out. Get out of here. Shoo. Shoo. Okay. So, what I did here is I have a bunch of the bottles, and we can just start to uh, grab all of these. Uh-oh. Get out of my way, bees. Just like that. And there we go. Now, you take those here, and basically, we have 15. You go in a situation like that, you make a bunch of uh, 
the honey blocks and uh you try to get out of here let's put all these things away first there we go and there we are so the bees are working great now i've got one more thing i have to do first before we start working on the house so let me go gather some resources and i'm going to show you this structure is created by mom crafter and what it's for is to uh, have a another portal so we are going to put one in right now and i'm also going to put up some signs for people so they know how to use it correctly but there it is it's there it's great now i'm going to put a sign up here and basically this is going to be um let's see what are we going to say to these guys nether will be reset when 1.16 is released so we're going to reset the entire thing and so that'll be kind of cool so anything that's out there guys if you're watching any of my patreons uh yeah it's going to be completely reset so anything you build out there any structures are going to be completely gone we're going to go on uh right here we're going to light it there we go and we're going to take the first journey of the server to the nether here we go we're going to see what there is here really quick and where it generates okay so we are in the nether here whoa that's not good uh there is some quartz here that's good we are high up this is like not good but there is quartz so we're gonna get some of this quartz we're gonna go back in just a second and really start on the house proper i know we've been doing other things and it's kind of been necessary things but uh yeah we're just gonna get this stuff we're gonna head on back here in just a second and uh get working on the house this is really cool uh-oh can i get him oh, come down here come down here i want to get you oh no i don't have a bow on me do i no oh, it's getting too high come on down gas come down here don't go, go, go. Come on down. Yes. No. No, no, no. No, no. Come down. Come on. Ah, missed him. Come on down. Uh, do I have any blocks? I have some sand on me. Uh, let's see if I can get to him. I'm, I really want to do this now. Um, he's over our stuff here. Come on down. Oh, no, 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 no. Ow. I ran right through that. It figures. I don't have a bow. Oh, this is driving me crazy. Uh. Oh, come on. I can do that better. Uh. Okay, he sees me. <laughs> oh. oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Don't blow out my nether portal, please. No. Ooh, we escaped. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let me uh, rest up here, and we're going to start this house proper. It involves white concrete. So my thought is I want to make some form of a modern house. I've never done anything like that. So my doorways are going to be right here. And that's where it'll go. Oop, that's not where I want that. We'll fix that in just a second here. Okay. So this will be one door. I basically want to have doors on all the sides. Okay. So for sure the doors are going to go right here. Okay. But I'm going to have this go up. And we're have, going to have a wrap around thing. I'm going to do this really quick. So hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about here. But it's going to be kind of cool, I think. Uh, you know, I'm not very good with the uh, organization of making buildings and such. So this should be pretty cool. Um... Here we go. And in fact, I might not even have it on this side. I think maybe, maybe not. I'm going to do, yeah, I do. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure this out. But basically, I want this to go up a bunch of blocks and then wrap around on the outside, okay? So if this goes up, let's say, hmm, let's say two more, I think I want it to go up. So let me, let me get up there real quick and just do this. And I'm just kind of freestyling here. I've never really done something like this, so... Um, Basically up here, I want this to kind of go up, okay? And then I want this to go have two more blocks and go up one more, I think. And then this comes out. So it's kind of got like a, like a, yeah, that's kind of what I want to do. Now on this side, I want to come all the way out and I'll wrap it around and then come down to this point over here. The same kind of way it did that right there. Um, it's going to look a little bit better once I figure out what I'm doing. Give me a chance to do this. Uh, I'll be right back and hopefully you can tell me what you think of it. It's hard to get a good vantage point, but what I've got here, if you can imagine, is a very geometric shape of some things going around and kind of sharing some of the same um, angles and windows and things. Basically, what I'm going to have is this area right here and the 
where I'm standing. And over here might be some sort of like a little bit of a grassy area or a, I want to say like, I don't want to say a park, but a, a um, yeah, some sort of like garden or something like that. And we're going to have various types of glass in here. I've got a bunch of uh, blue stained glass. I think I'm going to try that. But anyway, these large sections here that go all the way around, I want to be filled with the, the stained glass. So I'm going to start to work on some of the glass pieces. I think they'll be okay. Let's go back over to my crafting table and let's get some stained glass. And let's see if I can actually get to some of this stuff. I don't need all of it, but I just need a stack for now. Um, I don't know if I can get to everything, but I'm hoping that like right here and here and if I can get up there and all the way around here to put in some of the stained glass and we're going to try to make two floors. So I, I'm, I'm not sure I'm explaining it all, but I'm going to show you how this is in just a little bit. Give me a little bit more time. We're going to put in this glass and just see how this looks. And I'm hoping I can uh, get it looking kind of nice. A little update for you. I'm having some trouble with this. I think I'm doing okay though. Um, I wanted to add some depth to it because it's kind of like blocky with the uh, white concrete. And I think this is not so bad because I've got used materials that I have access to right now. Um, but this is what I'm kind of like doing. I'm making this little like window that's kind of a wraparound window. And again, this is going to be like a garden area. I thought I would make it the entire distance. I don't know why I have stuff staying out here. Let's grab that. Um, and we're going to have like a little walkway that comes out here so I can go out to this area. Um, I might put a fence in it. I don't know. But this way, it's like a little overhang, and I can have, like, some rooms up here, and some storage will be down here, and I think this will work out. I've got to go through, though, and make this wrap around over on this side, and I want to get some doors in. I also want to get from inside of here, I've kind of started to make a floor, and I want to do that over here and find a way to get upstairs. Um, and then once I do that, um, we can start to really move in and get some decorations done and, and that sort of thing. So let me work on getting this replicated over here. Maybe get some walls on here and some floors. We're taking another look here and I want to see how this looks because, you know, I've got this downstairs area, which you see here. And I just showed that in the last clip and it wraps around. But then I got this section up here that kind of goes up and it wraps around and it's kind of cool. I think uh, the intention here is that on this side where I have no windows, I'm going to have storage, lots of storage down here. And this is going to be where I do a lot of the work, um, smelters and that sort of thing can be in here, kind of a workshop, workshop area. And then, like I said, the gardens and things will be out here. But then when you go up either of these ladders here, it's going to be the, basically a living area. That's what I'm trying to go for. Um, we're going to have some sort of ramps here that go up. So there'll be like an outdoor balcony area. And the rest of this, I think I want to have just covered up with glass. Now, I've been doing blue glass. I don't know if it's the right color for me. Um, I'm still going to just take playing around with it and seeing what it, you know, how it looks. Uh, so far, it's okay. Uh, I'm just not quite sold on it yet. Or this bottom area. I really want this to be grass, so I've got to kind of uh, grow the grass up here. So I've got like a little hill here. We're going to hopefully it'll crawl and get all the way up here and fill this in. Then we're going to have a walkway and we can have the garden. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now in here, I have all the chests put in. So we're going to eventually here move in this uh, stuff over here. I probably should do that right next. And also I want to get a smelter in here and some of the other workstations and that sort of thing. And then we can work on the upstairs, which is really where I have to do, I don't know, some decorating, make a little like a, a bedroom area or something. I really want to have a big open space. Um, so I want to have, you know, no like wall saying this is a... A bedroom and this is a dining room or whatever i'd like to have it kind of be nice and open like this okay so i'm gonna do some decorating now and we all know how i do decorating it's not very great is it i really should put in doors too yeah i don't know what kind of doors i want either but i need four doors <laughs> and so that's kind of uh something i need to do so um i'm gonna wait for this to grow hopefully it will grow a little bit while i do some work on moving equipment and things into the chests all right, everything's been moved over here from the chest. That's awesome. So that's good. What I need to do now is something I always put in is a, what I call a super smelter. It's really just two smelters. Um, so we're going to put it right here in the floor uh, where the output's going to go. I'll have to build around this in a minute. Uh, but basically, you want to have the output chest be right here. There we go. And everybody's seen me do this before. We have hoppers going into there. We have furnaces. There we go. Like that. Okay. And then we have hoppers going to the back. That's where you put the fuel. Okay, and we put two chests on top of that. Bing, ding. And then going straight down into the top of here, we have what we would have is the where we put the uh, things we want to smelt. 
Um, it's a basic design. It works every time. We can access that. We can access that. Very nice. Okay, so let's get some coal here. I have a bunch of coal. I'm going to get a couple stacks, I think. Maybe four of these. There we go. And you put that in here. And you can see it's dividing that out and there's being split between these two chests. Now, I don't really have anything that I need to cook up in here, but we're going to cook up maybe some cobblestone. That'll work. So I'll grab some of this. Let's grab some of this because we do always need some stone. And there we go. Put that in there. And they're firing right up. Excellent. Okay, the next thing I want to make, I want to get my enchanting area done. Let's make an enchanting table. I do have some obsidian and diamonds on me, so this should be pretty easy. And we have a lot of books that I got from the villages that I raided. So there we go. We have that. Now we need to have 15 bookcases. So I'm just going to shift click on that. And it shows I can make 19. We don't need that many. Let's just make 15. And there we go. Okay, so let's do this how we can do it this way. There's many different ways to set this up. Okay. But this is the way that you can do it where you have all of them set up and around it. And it's basically an enchanting area. Now I put that down there, it'll work. The nice thing is you can put torches around in these areas here and it will deactivate certain things. So if you want to get certain levels because you're, you want to shut it down so it doesn't use so much experience, that's what you do. And there we go. We have, <clears throat> excuse me, we have an enchanting area in our house. The grass has finally grown here. So we're going to basically fix this now so that we don't have anybody sneaking into our base right here. And there we go. Let's put the uh, the wood back like that. And I got to get the other fences. I thought it was oak, but it's not. Okay, let's grab some of the uh, slabs. Put that back. And then let's get rid of these here. And put some more slabs back. There we go. So now we have this area. Now what I want to do is I want to put like a glass wall around this. Make it like a fence, but like a, uh, a cool looking fence if you think. Uh, you know what I mean here. Now, I don't know if I want to make it all and stop here. Um, I'm thinking maybe we can just put like maybe one or two here and then put two here. And it kind of lets people know they can go into there to look around. And that's fine. So we're going to go all the way around here. Get that torch out of the way. Now, we're having some trouble with lighting. You can see it's going to get kind of weird in here. It's getting dark too. So we're going to have to work in a little bit with lighting and decorations of with lights. Let's put some of that there for now. Let's just bone meal some of this up. And it's interesting how it's got all blue flowers, probably because we're in a swamp. So that looks pretty darn good. Let me go get those other fence pieces. We don't want to forget that because we could have, uh, you know, somebody fall off the edge. That's not good. I did also add these uh, birch pressure plates so that we can get in and out and that kind of thing. Okay. So it's looking pretty good. I think we should really concentrate on lighting now. I think that's very important. I've actually never made these before, but apparently we can make lanterns. And you can see here, it's basically just torches and the iron nuggets here. And I made only five of them. I got a lot of iron on me. I can make a lot more. That's easy to do. But I think what we're going to do, we're going to do something very similar to what we've done here. But I think we're going to hang them. I think we want to hang these over here, right above the corners here. And that way, it'll add some light, hopefully. Not a lot of light, though. But uh, we'll see how that goes. And that looks really bad over here, too. I wonder if there's a way I can hang down from there. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm trying to figure out light levels and get things kind of working right here. So, I mean, something like above here would be nice. But unfortunately, I think it's not going to work because of the fact that that's a slab. Let's see if I put a slab up there. And above it. Let's see. Let's try this. And if this hangs down too low, maybe. I don't know. That looks okay. I kind of like that. So, I'm going to light this all up. And then we'll see what's next. All right, guys, I think it's about done as far as decorations. I don't really like the lamps as well. I think they're a little bit too bulky. I think end rods would look kind of good around here, but it works for now. It's my first little, little starter house here in the community area of the Patreon server. And you can see it looks pretty darn good. The cat keeps on meowing. Anyway, yeah, you go on in here. We have our enchanting area. I have a little stand below that. And we have uh, some tools here. If I need more of them, I'll put them down. And we got our furnace. And that works great. We got our storage area. This is fantastic. And then up here, I still haven't decorated this, but I'll do that later on. But basically, I have a room here with the bed. And we have, this is all lit up as well. And then out here, we have like a little deck that we can have. Nice airy view. It's kind of nice. It looks like everything is lit up really well. Um, from what I've been checking of the numbers, everything looks good. So 
I think, guys, yeah, I think that this is it. I think I have made my house. I actually did a house the first time, and I think it looks pretty good for me. I'm not the greatest builder, so I think it's fantastic. So let me know what you think about it down in the comments, okay? So, hey, I think this is it. If you like this video, please click that like button. And like I just said, if you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all of the notifications. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.